Police say these surveillance images from multiple ATMs around Londonderry show Franklin Francois of Mattapan, Massachusetts, swindling people out of their own money. They say it's a scheme that goes as far as the Dominican Republic. People obtain personal information of cardholders, impersonate them to request a new ATM card, and others in the U.S. intercept those cards through the mail. You, you feel violated, um, and then you feel paranoid. What should I do to protect myself? Gene Rivard and Lori Britting were both victims. $600 at a time, um, four in a row from an ATM machine in Derry, and then another one in London Derry, and, and then there was a $2,500 charge at Walmart. It was very scary, yeah. Plus, they have whatever information they must have had to up the limit. I'm not sure where they got that either. So, officers began looking into the fraud in August 2016. Pouring over surveillance, they say something stuck out that created a break in the case. And in one photograph, we noticed that he was holding the pamphlet from the Cog Railway. And uh, we just assumed that he must be from out of state if he's looking for tourist attractions. So, we started checking local um, hotels. And sure enough, in reviewing surveillance footage from some of the hotels, we found them at one particular hotel here in Londonderry. From there, officers discovered the suspect's true identity. But it was not until last week at Logan Airport that authorities finally made the arrest. It made me feel so much better yeah. that they pursued it and got the person who took all that money. And now the victims we spoke to say they now have their money back. Francois is now free on $15,000 cash bail. He's due back in court next week. Now there is another suspect seen in that surveillance. Police say that person is still under investigation. Live in the studio, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.